Hi guys, so before we get started on this quick video on Black Friday tips, I'm going to tell you to ignore the crazy hair, ignore the makeup that's coming off, and ignore my sleepy eyelids. Um, it's 2.45 in the morning as I do this. So, um, my first Black Friday tip for you is to write a list of the things that you need. The things that you are going shopping for, the things that you need to find a deal on, and the things that you want to have and that's what your goal is for. You don't want to go Black Friday shopping with no idea what you're doing and no idea what you want because you're going to get overwhelmed and um, you're going to spend money that you didn't want to spend and you didn't plan on spending and you're, you want to make sure that you're going um, there to save money. You're getting up at the crack of dawn and waiting in long lines so you want to make sure that your time is well spent when doing so. You also want to make sure that the, the deals that you are getting are deals that are deals and not um, ones that they've just stuck a Black Friday sticker on it and they're calling it a deal, you want to make sure it's actually a deal. So my first tip for you is to make a list of the things that you are going shopping for. My second tip is to scan the Black Friday ad scans that are online. I'm going to leave a link in the post down below um, for you. Um, of where you can get the Black Friday ad scans. As you know, I've posted a few of the type ups of the Black Friday ads that we have coming out that have been out, and that's thanks to hotcouponworld.com who let me use their ad scans. So that's where I'm going to send you is um, over to hotcouponworld.com to check out their Black Friday ad scans. They've got just about all of them so far that have come out. So that's a great place to go to start scanning <clears throat> sorry, the ads for the ones of the deals that you have on your list. Um, my next tip and my third tip is to um, go and make sure you get that paper on Thursday. There's not going to be any inserts in it, but it's going to give you the physical ad and having that physical ad is important because if you're going to a store that price matches, you can save yourself a lot of time and money by price messaging from one store to another instead of having to go and run around like a crazy lady or man and get all the deals from every single store you can price match it and save yourself time and money. Um, I also like to use the store ads that you get on Thursday and I like to take a little bit of time and go through the ads and circle the things that I'm getting and then write my list of exactly where I'm going and write exactly what time because some stores have some sales at this time, some stores have sales at this time. So I like to make sure that I have my list of what stores I need to be at and where and what time I need to be there so that I know that I'm getting the things that are on my list. Uh, my next tip is bring a drink. And if you drink coffee, bring some coffee and put some snacks in your bag. You're going to be waiting in line. There's going to be lots of people. You're not going to want to get out of line to go get a cup of coffee so or a drink. So make sure you just bring those things with you in your bag, in your purse. Um, it'll make you happy. And also make sure to bundle up if you're in an area that's cold. Hats, gloves, jackets. Make sure you go prepared because I made the mistake one year of not. I was freezing, but I was not about to get out of that line. So um, make sure that you're prepared in that way. My next tip for you is to bring cash. Leave the credit cards at home, leave the debit card at home because you don't want to get swipe happy. You go to the ATM, bring out, pull out the cash that you know you're going to need or the cash that you've budgeted for so you don't go over your budget because the last thing you want to do is go there again and spend more money and not go for the point of the day of saving money and getting the best deals that you can. Um, my next tip for you is bring your phone with you. Kind of, even if you don't have a smartphone, bring it with you. Um, it gets kind of lonely on lines, although there is a lot of times that people are on the Black Friday lines. You, know, you talk a little bit, you hang out, you're there for a couple hours with these people. So that's another tip. Be nice to those who are in line with you and who are shopping with you because they are going to be, they're going for the same thing. They're going for the deals. So being nice, I mean, it's the right thing to do is to be nice, but it's also nice to be in a friendly environment um, where nobody's trampling over each other, everybody, you know, gets along, and we've seen stories of people getting trampled, and it just makes me sad. Um, my next tip is to take a nap on Thursday, if you can, after you eat, um, because now stores are opening, as much as I hate to say this, they're opening at 8 o'clock at night, so... Sadly, all those workers, and I've got two sisters that work in retail, so they're all working when their stores open on Thursday night. 
early Thursday night, like 8 o'clock at night. So make sure that, you know, you take a nap. You're going to be exhausted. Um, don't know what happened there. There we go. We're back. Okay, so then my next tip is if you are going with someone <clears throat> and you're shopping together, split your lists. This way, one person can go in one direction, one person can go in the other. And this is where also having your phone comes in handy. Call when you've got your stuff. Meet out, meet up at the checkout line. Saves you a whole bunch of time. And then you also can make sure that you get your deals. Um, another tip is if you're staying home for Black Friday, um, I'm going to go out for a little bit just because there's a couple of things that I want to grab to get my Christmas shopping finished. The kids are done, but I want to get the rest of my uh, family that's on my list done. So check back on the Facebook page. Um, and not every deal is going to make to the Facebook page, I'm pretty sure, because there's going to be quite a bit of them over the next coming days. So make sure you're also going directly to the site, midgetmama.com, um, to see the deals. And I will leave a link for that below. I will also leave a link for the Facebook page, um, my Twitter, and I'm also going to leave a link for my newsletter so that you can subscribe and then at the end of the day you'll get them. But I want to say that when it comes to holiday deals like this, you want to make sure that you're not waiting until the end of the day because you will miss them. Um, I think anything else for Black Friday? Oh, come in excitement. Be excited. Be happy and enjoy it. And you might not get every deal that you're hoping for, but enjoy the time that you're going out and you're getting the deals and you're saving the money because that's the most important part is saving money and having fun. So, and so I leave you guys with go out, have fun Black Friday shopping, save money, enjoy it. And of course, come back and share your deals with us that you score on Black Friday. Happy shopping!